Okay, today we have this example in here, this mechanical example, and here's our task. It says develop the computer model suitable for entering in the in in the computer for simulation using bon the von Graff method. You don't need to use the numerical simulation. We're interested in producing the model itself. So right now, what we need to do is. Uh, Let's see if this works. Yeah, it does. And uh, go get my favorite pens working in here. That is uh, this one. Here we go. Okay. This is. We need to keep this with us. Okay. So let's let's keep it in here. Let's erase the line that I just made. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, um, remember the first step that we had was to recognize the elements. So I I would just uh, go around and maybe. But this is, you know, this. What? Well, let's do it together. Okay. What kind of element is this guy? This one. Hmm. R element. Yeah. How about this one? So that's a C element. This you have another R element in here. We we could call it R one here. And R2 here. What about this one? It's a, yeah, it's a mass, so let's call it I1 for this one. And this, then we have another, let's say I2. And here we have, this is another C element, let's call it C sub 2. And this is a, um, a, well, this, the way it is in here. FT usually is used for a, um, let's see, it's just function of time. It says th this would be a, the way it's drawn is a, is a force, so this is going to be a source of effort in here. And then you have this other I in here, this is an I sub 3, let's say. And this, of course, is an R element, which is an R sub 3. And the, the wall, of course, is also a, source of flow with velocity equals to zero. And I thought it would be easier to just put the same element over here just to make it to make it easier to, to understand the system. So first step that we have is to put a one junction for every distinct um, velocity that we have and the velocity is uh, assigned to the masses in here so this this would be the let's call it V sub 1 for I sub 1 then you have another one which is V sub 2 for I sub 2 in here then we will have this third one for the V sub 3 over here and I would add this one for the velocity of the wall equals to zero mm -hmm. but it's a reference velocity anyway and I would do it the same thing over here because it's the same one yeah and it also help us build our graph in an easy way so in here what I would do is let's uh, let's go ahead and begin attaching the uh, step number two was the element so um, well I think it, it it doesn't hurt to write them down in here one was recognize elements I won't write the entire thing as I did before but maybe just uh, a little bit abbreviated. Two, this is the process. Do we need to attach? No. 
this is a use I must say use a one junction for the um, distinct velocities so that's where we are then three we attach the elements that see those velocities you will say to those velocities then we have number four we will have to use zero junctions um, for the be relative velocities Okay, and then five, you could say attach elements that see the relative velocities or experiences. Well, uh, I don't like the word see in there, but let's just correct that for a little bit. And here we'll 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 go on so attach the elements that experience. The relative velocities. Okay, very good. And then you could say uh, six, I would say complete uh, power flow and causal marks. Okay, so let's just let's just go ahead and then put the elements that we need to we need to attach. I'll just use my blue pen for that purpose. Uh, okay, here we go. So, so here we we're going to put the um, the element in here. This is the SF element with velocity equals to zero, and I will put the other SF element over here. with velocity equals to zero and then the I element over here with this is M sub one you know I, I we call it I one but this is if you want we'll just put it like this this one is the second one second I with I sub 2 or M sub 2 and then we'll put this one with I equals to I sub 3 or M sub 3 that we have done so far this step this <coughs> step we have done this one right now and now we need um, the the zeros you know? now one thing in here is that you see you have the action from a source over here so it logically makes sense that we move the system to the right side it does I we you know we could say the system goes to the left but I think it's logical to do it this way so and if that's the case these elements are going to see the difference between this velocity and that one so <coughs> in here you'll have a, we'll put a zero junction yeah and you to do v sub 2 minus v sub 1 you will have to do it this way mm. and 
and then this will create this b sub 2 minus b sub 1. Using one junctions to, to express the difference, it also makes it very clear. It's actually a good idea to do that. Um, in here, b sub 1, uh, the spring will see the difference between b sub 1 and the velocity of the wall. So this, I will do the same thing as b sub 1 minus velocity of the wall, like this to create the difference and then v sub 2 you could you could assume that the that as it's logic in here that v sub 2 is going to be bigger than v sub 3 then of course the arrows would go the other way but it really does not matter in terms of uh, mm, of the simulation, whether we represent this spring in compression or in extension. We have on the left hand side expressed it in, in extension. So to be consistent we could we could do this or as it's more logical here as this is the source, we could express this in compression. So long as we understand that we can do this. B sub two minus v sub 3 alleging that v sub 2 is going to be bigger because it has it doesn't move originally and, and it is the one uh, from the source and then of course this one in here would have to be the same way a uh, one which is v sub 3 minus velocity of the wall having done this uh, step number 4 we'll do a step number five and to do that let's just change the colors for a little bit just to make it more interesting on the step number five which is uh, to attach the elements that experience the difference this obviously is between b sub one and the wall so that is going to be in here we'll attach this as a c element right there um, in between these two, we see this is um, an R element which would be placed over here like this. Yeah. Um, then we have the source <coughs> which is acting on this. I mean, we could uh, we could do it with with a little R like this put the AC into the system like this <coughs> that represents this f of t here like this and then we have the in between this too we have this c element so that would be the c element this would be the c sub 2 this was r sub 2, right? This notation with the two little dots is to indicate the value of it. So this would be c sub 1. And then um, we have some elements we have not considered yet. Well, th this one. And so that would be the r element over here. And then we have the um, we haven't talked about this one. See, this one is an interesting one because it is between m sub two and the wall. So how would we do this? We need a zero junction to make the difference between those two. We do not have that one. 